Hello there. Coming up today, Chipmunks got big plans for 2010. I want to be 20. <laughs> Neo reveals what he wants for Christmas. I have everything. And why girls rule the airwaves at the end of the decade. But first, there's never a dull moment in the life of Pete Doherty. The baby shambles singer was charged with possession of heroin just minutes after walking out of court. Pete was at Gloucester Crown Court yesterday, where he admitted to charges of careless and drink driving following a gig in the city last June. While avoiding jail, he was fined just over two grand and banned from driving for 18 months. But on the way out, he was met by officers who escorted him to the police station across the road, where he was then charged and later bailed. Next, despite only just releasing his debut album, Chipmunk reckons he's already working on the follow-up. The Grime star won his second MOBO award this year and says he's got big plans for 2010. Just um, developing really, you know, just showing my growth in the music for the fans, because they grew with me. Right, it's a question a lot of us girls have to deal with at Christmas. What do you get the man who has everything? Even more difficult when that man happens to be singer, songwriter and producer extraordinaire Neo. Fitting then that his request can only be delivered by the American president. You know what I want for Christmas? I want the troops to come home for Christmas. That's what I want. Make that happen, Barack. Work it out. Don't worry, Neo. I'll give him a call later. And further proof of the return of girl power. Yes, in 2009, the airwaves were dominated by female solo artists. Aussie songstress Gabriella Chilmeet topped the list of most played songs of the year. Also in the top 10, Duffy, Jennifer Hudson and Jordan Sparks. OK, that's your lot. See you tomorrow.